Welcome everyone to another video of the density practice problems. This is part three, the advanced part. So let's get started. Question one, I'm going to draw as I'm reading. So a graduated cylinder has a mass of 50 grams. So I have a graduated cylinder with a mass of 50 grams. When 30 milliliter of water, so I have 30 milliliter of water was added into the graduated cylinder. So the mass of the graduated cylinder with the water inside of it, it became 120 grams with 30 milliliter of water. Now, if a rock, so I have a rock and it's added or dropped inside the graduated cylinder, the water level will rise to become 75 milliliter after we drop the rock. The water level rises to 75 milliliter and the total mass is 250 grams. What is the density of the rock? So D is equals mass over the volume. So we need to find the mass of the rock and the volume of the rock. So let's find the first part. How can we find the mass of the rock? So M for the rock is going to be 250. So this number, 250 grams, take away the 120 grams, just to only find the mass of the rock itself, 120 grams. The answer is going to be 130 grams. So that's for the mass of the rock. So now we found this one. How can we find out the volume of the rock? So V for the rock is, can be found from the water level. So the water level rise up to be 75 milliliter and it was 30 milliliter before. So 75 milliliter take away 30 milliliter. The answer would be 45 milliliter, which is the same as 45 centimeters cubed because we're talking about a solid. Okay, so we can apply those numbers to the equation. D equals M over V. So I know M is 130 grams and the volume is 45 centimeters cubed. So the answer would be D would be 2.9 grams per centimeters cubed. Now moving on to question two. A student performs an experiment with three unknown fluids and obtain the following measurements. So I have, I have fluid A, fluid B, and fluid C. Each of those fluids have a mass and a volume. Now draw how, how the fluids would be layered if they were combined in a beaker. So we need to find the density, um, the density of each of those fluids to be able to know how are they going to be layered. So the fluid with the highest density is going to be at the bottom. Like for example, it's going to be here at the bottom and then follows uh, the least, uh, the less dense, and then the least dense is going to be at the top. Okay, so we need to find the density for each of those fluids. So let's get started. So fluid A, D for A is going to be M over V. So M is 2,060 2, grams divided by the volume, which is 2,000 milliliter. So the answer would be divided by 2,000. So the answer would be just one grams, nearly one grams per milliliter, which is the same as centimeters cubed but since we're using um since those are liquids we're gonna follow with milliliter okay so that's for the first one the second one density for b is going to be m over v so again 672 divided by 850 this is gram this is milliliter so the answer is gonna be 850, the answer is going to be 0 0.8 grams per milliliter. All right, now moving on to the last one, the density for C. It's going to be M 
let's have the green color okay so d for c equals m over v we do the same thing 990 grams divided by the volume a thousand hundred thousand one hundred so the answer will be 1,100, the answer would be 0 0.9 grams per milliliter. Okay, so now look at those numbers. So those numbers in here. So which of these numbers have the highest amount, uh, have the highest density, which is going to be on the top? So it's going to be A. So A, fluid A, is going to be at the bottom because it has the highest density so it's the more dense and then follows by c fluid c because it's 0 0.9 it's going to be here and then the last one is going to be uh, 0 0.8 which is b so the fluids are going to be layered like that that's it all right question three now Use your density skills to find the identity of the following mystery objects. So we have this table of densities. It shows the density for different solids or different materials or different elements even. Okay, so let's get started. While digging in, in the backyard, you find an old coin. Its mass is... 26.76 grams and its volume is 33 centimeter. What is the coin made of? So we know that D equals M over V. So we're going to divide this number, which is the mass, by the volume. So the final answer will be 26.76 divided by 3. So the answer is going to be 8.9 grams per centimeters cubed so which of the which of these uh, metals here or these elements is the same as the coin the material of the coin 8.9 so i would say is copper because here it's um 8.92 so what's the coin made of so simply say it's copper okay now, you think you have found a diamond. Its mass is 5.28 grams and its volume is 2 centimeters cubed. So it's going to be the same. Okay, so D equals mass over volume. So the mass is uh, 5.28 and the volume is 2. So just using the calculator, 28 divided by 2. So d is going to be let's show our working out 28 grams divided by two centimeters cubed so the answer is going to be 2.6 grams per centimeters cubed so which of these uh, solids have the same density so what, what did we find is it a diamond or not so the diamond is 3.52 so it's definitely not a diamond so it's it's 2.6 so this material is either going to be marble or the quartz so i'm just gonna say it's going to be marble because it's just closer when we just round this number to 2.6 so it's marble so now same for this part in here you find a ring with a mass of 107 grams you fill a graduated cylinder up with 10 milliliter of water and put the ring into the cylinder the water rises up to 15 milliliter 15 milliliter what's the ring made of so you know again d equals m over v we have the mass and the volume we get it from the water level so it's going to be zero 107 grams divided by 15 milliliter take away the 10 milliliter to find the answer so 107 divided by 5 milliliter so it's 21.4 which is same as platinum so what is the ring made of it's platinum 
if you haven't watched my previous videos on density please have a go um, just go ahead and watch them I'll just put the link here for you this is the platinum okay the last question is there's a block on your desk that acts as a paper weight its measurements are three centimeter four centimeter and six centimeter the block has a mass of 184 how can we work this d equals mass over volume so the mass is 184.32 the volume is the actual measurements of the block so three times four times six and centimeters cubed okay so the answer would be 184.32 divided by so it's 2.6 so the answer is going to be 2.6 grams per centimeters cubed so what is the block made out of let's have a look 2.64 which one it's going to be the quartz so exactly it's going to be a quartz all right thank you for watching my video i hope it was helpful uh, please have a look at the other playlist of density videos and thank you for watching bye